and developed in the sauce, so it actually has some moisture and retains some flavor. It's just overcooked dry flour. And then you have overkill on the pancetta, so it's salty. And then you have some pickles trying to save the day. And these are just ideas that don't make any sense. Sorry. Next up, one of my home cooks, Shanika. This dish is everything that I am. It is colorful, it is sexy. And I feel like this is gonna get me out of that doghouse from totally massacring that poor halibut. What did you make for us? Uh, it is a pan-seared halibut on a fennel salad that has a ground butter vinaigrette with blood orange and Maya lemon. And the dish is just like I expected. It's perfectly cooked halibut. It's seasoned well, it's spot on. The flavor profile of all these citrus components is classic. You found your place in the kitchen, you find your place with your ingredients, you make it your own, and it all makes sense. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, Joe. Next up, being mentored by myself. Taylor, please, thank you. <laughs> Taylor, describe the dish, please. I have a grilled halibut over roasted asparagus and Brussels over a carrot and a ginger puree. Grilling the fish, I like the idea. It's actually cooked beautifully in the center, but grainy puree and undercooked sprouts. We've got all the elements of a dish that could have absolutely sung beautifully tonight, but you continue to put the mistakes on the plate. Thank you, Chef. Next, step forward, Geron. Talk to me about the dish. Panzer halibut on a bed of spinach and uh, onions, a white sweet potato puree, and a roasted red pepper coolie. The cook on the halibut is superb. Uh, the red pepper coolie, it's developed because you roast it hard in the oven. Your puree, it's light, it's airy. This is what this competition is about, seeing your growth. Joe gave you that apron for a reason. Fantastic. Thank you. Good job, Joe. Good job. Next up, wearing Aron's apron. Chelsea, come on up. I am so embarrassed by how flustered I got when I was filleting the halibut that I want this dish to prove to the judges that I am confident and that I can cook and I deserve to be here. So Chelsea, nice plating. Thank you. What's the dish? I did a pan-seared halibut with a yogurt and cucumber raita with sauteed bok choy and a Thai coconut curry sauce. So when I cut it open, how should it look inside? I hope it's really shiny and cooked Let's properly see. and pretty. How's that look? It looks a little under. Yeah, still got some blood in it. Oh, no. It's too bad. Tell me about this curry. I did curry paste, and I um, put in the mortal pestle with garlic and peppercorns. <coughs> I didn't want it to be too spicy. Yeah, it's like eating a peanut butter cup on the front of your palate. OK. And just getting punched on the back of your throat with white heat. There's not nearly enough salt. Yeah. One throw of salt would pull all that together. You're kind of off the rails on your seasoning. Like, we're getting to a point now in the top 12, you've got to have the palate to be able to season. OK. Very, very big seasoning errors here. Plate's almost unedible. You know, it's a bit weird to have that warm yogurt with a cucumber in amongst that pool of curry. Okay. The curry itself is way too rich because it's just so hot because it hasn't had a chance to cook out. But plating's beautiful. I just don't think that tonight has been your night overall. Thank you. Thank you. Next is a home cook that's wearing one of Gordon's aprons. Ashley, please step forward. So it came down to the very last seconds for me to plate this dish. I know I've cut it close before, but I hope the judges still see finesse on the plate and it tastes good. Ashley, all right, well, how would you describe the dish? This is a pan-seared halibut with cream spinach and uh, gnocchi a la parisienne. All right, well, first of all, it doesn't look like you had just under a minute to plate that. It looks wonderful. Thank you. Let's see how it tastes. Are you happy with the cook? I am. <laughs> What do you think? It looks good to me, Chef. It doesn't look good to me. Let's see how it tastes. Are you happy with the cook? 
I am. What do you think? It looks good to me, Chef. It doesn't look good to me. That looks perfect. <laughs> Unbelievable. When you say you were going to Paris with this, I can just taste that French sensibility with the spinach and that wonderful gnocchi lightly cooked. They're airy, they're very pillowy, soft. I think the, the cook on the halibut is textbook. It's balanced with the lemon. Um, the execution of this dish, it is just unreal. And I know you're wearing Gordon's apron, and I know he speaks French, but if you're gonna go to Paris and cook like this, can I go with you? <laughs> yes! <laughs> so this is unbelievable. Thank you. I'm elated. I was recognized for something I put together with seconds left, but the technique was there. This, this smile is not gonna go away anytime soon. That was a very intriguing challenge. Some of you really, really excelled. And some of you are in trouble. But there was one dish who really blew us away tonight. Congratulations, Farhan. Thank you. We're on the search across America for only one master chef. Unfortunately, that means somebody is leaving very shortly. If I call your name, then please make your way down to the front. Chelsea, Samantha, SJ. I'm not ready to go home because there's so much more that I want to show the judges. I haven't even had the chance to show off my heritage and my culture. Everybody else, congratulations. Please head up to the safety of the balcony. If I get eliminated right now, it'll break my heart. It was a tough night. Many home cooks excelled. You three, unfortunately, did not. Please step forward. Chelsea. Chelsea, you made some mistakes tonight. And as we move forward, there's no room for basic errors. And for that reason, tonight, Chelsea, you are going home. You made some fundamental errors. Under seasoning, didn't listen to direction. Errors that eventually will trip you up here in the MasterChef kitchen. Chelsea, please leave your apron at your station, and good night. Okay. Disappointed, but the reason I came to MasterChef was to learn and to cook and be able to go into that kitchen, and I got to do all of those things. Bye, guys. When I first came into this MasterChef kitchen, I didn't have the confidence that I do now, and I know that my skill level has definitely increased. But I mean, I'll keep studying and I'll keep pursuing my dreams, so nothing will stop me, and I'll, I'm gonna always keep cooking. Now, we're down to the top 11. Next will be the top 10. That's when this competition really takes off. And that milestone will happen right now. But more importantly for me, you're both wearing my apron. And so this pains me to send one of you home. Samantha, your dish was somewhat unfinished. SJ, you bounced around. You're all over the place. Let me get straight to the point. This is hard enough as it is for me. Samantha, you are going up to the balcony. Say goodbye to SJ. Congrats. Good job. I am so relieved. The judges believe in me and believe I can go far, so I really have to step up my game and be nothing but perfect. I'm not taking this second chance for granted. SJ, you play like an angel, but tonight you presented me with a halibut that was so overcooked I had very little to hold on 